thank you and a shout out to my Patreon supporters above me. Thank you guys. You mean so much to me. You've been a great support in 2019. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing Cloudlands 2. I'm playing on the Oculus Rift S. And a big thank you to the developers and Oculus for this review key. I've already featured this game on the Quest. I played the game on a real golf course. I'll show you a little clip here. I'm at my local golf club. This is the Sherwood Forest Golf Club. And we're going to be playing some golf. Got the nice uh, golf club behind me. And I might have some issues with the tracking. And the sun keeps coming out. Okay, we're on the golf course. Uh, my ball's here. So we're teeing over there. Okay, so that's hole one done. I need to find the second hole somewhere. There we go. And it's on the fairway. Out of bounds. Quiet. Sorry. <laughs> the golfers were not happy with me playing a VR on their golf course. And uh, they shouted at me numerous times, and I had to cut a lot of the uh, cut a lot of the video out. So here we are in the safety of my own home, and we're going to try the game on the Rift S. Cloudlands Two loading. Okay, here we are in the game. I'm in a really cool polygon world. Now, for those of you who watched my Oculus Quest video of the game. You notice I had lots of uh, tracking issues with the sun. I was playing outside on a real golf course. I've got no issues at all now. There's no tracking, no tracking loss or anything. Welcome to start. Flick the joystick left or right to rotate left or right. Okay. Hold the joystick up to preview where you will teleport. Release the teleport. Try it now and make sure to aim at the ground. Okay, so there's my um, teleport device. You can teleport directly to the ball by pressing the trigger button. Well, let me try that now. Oh, there we go. I do feel like I'm standing a bit close to the ball. I feel like I should be back a little bit. I mentioned this on the Quest version of the game as well. The ball needs to be here. And it's right down here, look. So this is a, at a really weird angle. So I will need to teleport back a bit, I'm afraid. If the developers are watching, they really need to change the angle of the ball when you start. Try hitting the ball by swinging at it with your club. I can't. It's right at my feet. How am I supposed to hit the ball like this, guys? I'm going to hit my leg. Okay, let's hit it anyway. Moving the joystick down lets you open the quick menu. You can change clubs and view the map. Flick down again to close the menu. Okay, so we now have um, a menu with all our clubs and everything. I guess we need to use the iron next. Press the A or B button to open the pause menu and view your scorecard. Okay, there's my scorecard. Hold par score. Point to options and press the trigger to interact. Settings include handiness, club length and ball colour. You can also redo your shot by using a mulligan. Click resume or press A or B to continue. So we've got quite a few options here for altering your clubs. Now for some advanced functions, you can change the functionality of the joystick by holding the grip button to adjust the curve of the ball trajectory be near the ball and hold the grip button and down on the joystick okay so I'm controlling this little uh, menu on my golf club okay let me just whack it over here chip it onto the fairway This is really annoying having to uh, reset my standing spot every time. I need to be here. 
I don't know why the I don't know why the game's putting the ball at my feet. That is so annoying, guys. So annoying. If the developers are watching, why the hell did you put the ball at my feet? If I'm playing golf for real, I want the ball here, look. Okay. Chip it onto the green. To adjust the curve of the ball, be near the ball and hold the grip button and down on the joystick. Rotate the power. Okay, put the ball into the hole to complete. Have fun. I need the... Uh, I need the little... Uh... Okay, so... So annoying. I'm going to have to teleport to the ball, guys. I can't just teleport on top of the ball. Okay, we're on the green. Let me teleport over. Where's my, where's my balls there, look? Okay, we're going to... Close. Oh! Okay, tutorial over, and people are clapping. Thankfully, there's no uh, golfers to interrupt me today to tell me off, so let's play the game. And we're going to jump into single player campaign mode. Course one, start the game. Okay, complete hold to pass screen glade one, and this is a par four. Difficulty is easy. And we have a leaderboard here. A lot of people have been playing the game. It's also got the um, the year they played the game as well, which is pretty cool. Okay, let me teleport to... Um... So I'm going to have to use... Oh, I hit the ball by accident. Can I restart? Restart. Restart, please. I hit the ball with my club by accident when I was trying to teleport. Okay, so here we go. Let me go back a little bit more. Okay, the ball's at the right. Um, the ball's in the right spot now. If you play golf, then you don't want the ball right down at your feet down there. Okay, so we're going to whack this. Oh, what a shot. And we're going to teleport over here to where the ball is. I'm going to change my club. Oh, it's changed automatically. That's cool. So this is a par four, which means I need to try and get it in the hole in four shots or less. So that's two. I'm allowed two more shots. Oh, that was a uh, quite hard. I need to put a bit of welly into it. I can see the green now. I'm still getting used to the game, so that was terrible. Up. Okay, we now got a putter. I do like how the game changes your club, depending on where you are on the course. So if I can get this in, it'll be a par six. That was a par six. On to the uh, next course. Next hole.
and this one's a par 5. I'm going to turn around. Okay, let me try and hit this a bit harder. Let me get a good angle here. Give it some welly this time. Hup. And that felt really satisfying. A friend of mine's a really keen golfer. I think he would love this game. Okay, so can we do this in less than five? It's on the green. We're on the green. We're doing well, guys. And you can see the slope of the green as well. So this is going to be a tricky putt. <laughs> oh, what a shot. I got an achievement. Did you see that? Par 3. How cool was that? Okay, I'm on the leaderboard now, look. <laughs> that felt really, really cool, guys. What a shot. I feel like a pro. And the game's running super smooth. It looks amazing on the Rift S. Graphically, it's about the same as the Quest version. It's about the same. Okay, what was this one? What par was this? I did not see what the uh, what the par was. Let me check the menu. Okay, so we're on hole three, which is a par five. Look at that, par three. Is that a bogey? Was that a bogey? Is that the term? So this is a par five, which means I need to get the ball into the hole in five shots or less. And we have some uh, water hazards. I need to try not to get into the water, so I need to try and hit the ball over the uh, over the water there. Give it some welly again. Oh, I think that was over. Yes, that was over. And we're in the rough. I guess this is the rough. I'm going to try and face you guys. I'm going to do a quick turn here. Where's the ball? Okay, the hole's there. I'm trying to get the right angle here. Oh, that missed totally, look. That was my second shot. Not quite on the green here, so... I need a little chip onto the green. Get in! So close. Okay, if I do this, it's par four. Yes, par four. And I got another achievement. Again, I'm on the leaderboard, look. I'm doing quite well, actually. Next hole. And this is a lot of fun if you're a golfer in real life. Um, you can play this at home. Uh, if you play golf in real life, normally you don't play when it's raining. So if it's raining, some really cool effects with like the wind. So I guess there's a bit of wind now. And I'm still playing on uh, easy mode. I just wish the uh, developers would change the, the starting angle of the ball. Okay, looks like we've got a bit of wind now as well, so I might need to account for the wind. Okay, give it some welly. Oh, that hit the mountain. <laughs> okay, that's gone off the mountain. So you are playing golf in the clouds. If I teleport now, will I appear... Underneath the uh, world. Okay, let me teleport to the wall. See where I am. Right back at the start. Okay. So there's a little island over there. I need to hit the ball onto the fairway before the drop. And then over onto the island. So let me try that again. Try not to hit it too hard this time. I need it to stay on there. Stay. 
Okay, it went off again, lot. So it went off the edge of the world. So we're not doing so well on this one. Okay, that's better. Stay, stay, stay. Okay. Okay, this is the tricky shot. I need to hit the ball over the gap. There's a massive drop down there. So I need to get this some welly. Let me stand back a little bit. Ooh. Go, go, go. Oh, not quite. I need to hit it a lot harder. I don't think I need my um, second controller, guys. I'm going to put my other controller down. And just use one for now. Play like a proper golf. So this is like real golf now. I've got one hand. One hand's holding the club. My other hand's going to help with the, the swing. And this should give me a bit more power. <laughs> okay, that was... I could really get behind that shot. And I'm on the green lot. Okay, we're on the green at least. Which is a good sign. Okay, there's a bit of an incline there. You probably can't see that on the video. You might be able to see the lines. But the, uh, the green goes across, then down, and then it smooths out again. I'm getting my earbuds all tangled up. When I'm swinging, I keep hitting my earbuds. Okay. Uh, this is fun though, I must admit. If I follow that line there, that line goes straight to the hole. So down the slope we go. Not quite. Oh, so close. I've got a little meter there. Looks telling me the wind and everything as well. It's telling me where I am on the on the course. Okay, so that was a par 8. Next hole. And it looks like there's a lot of holes on this game, look. I've just uh, scratched the surface. So we're on hole 5. Okay, this looks a bit like uh, crazy golf. Okay, this is a crazy golf hole. Okay. Go on over the slope. Not quite. So we need to go down here. Over the hole, over the slope. Go on, roll down. Keep rolling. Stay. Okay, let's hit this hard. It's an angle. Oh, that came back. That was not good. I'm trying to get around this corner. There we go. Okay, there's a slope here. Hop. Okay, try this uh, backhanded. That was terrible. That came all the way back. Okay, so this is all about angles. Oh, I hit that little there. There's a little bit sticking out there. I hit it. Okay, can we go around here, this angle? Stay. I can see the hole now. Oh, I'm getting there. I do like how they've mixed up the uh, crazy golf with the normal golf. Adds a bit of variety to the game. Oh, too hard. I hope they allow the uh, player to be able to choose either the crazy golf or the normal golf. 
There might be some serious golfers who just want to play normal golf. They might not like this, this part of the game. That's terrible. Come on, you can do this. Yes. Was that 15? Par? That was terrible. Par 10. Okay, try the next hole, 1.6. Okay, par four, crazy golf. Can we get hole in one? That was close. Okay, I need to get this to redeem myself. Yes, par two. Next hole, please. Okay, this one's got moving obstacles. There's a big slope there. I guess we, uh, I guess we go up the slope. That worked. Oh, we fell off the end. One roll round, thank you. Wrong course here. Okay, try and avoid the spinning block. Ready? Go. Oh, that went off as well. <laughs> that thinking is knocking my ball off. It's not as easy as it looks. There we go. I was going to say, this is not as easy as it looks. We'll tap onto the... Uh, there we go. Get in there! Yes! Okay, let's try out one more hole. Some nice music playing in the background. Okay, this looks interesting. Okay, this is a par, par six. So we've got a par six. I don't think I'll reach the green from here. I've got a feeling we have to go over there onto the ruins and then onto the green. So we're going to give it some welly over here. Black. Okay, it's really satisfying when you whack the ball. Luckily, I'm in the rough, so. Okay, where's the hole? The hole's over here, look. Okay, not too bad. There's no drops there, so I should be able to just uh, hit the ball over here. It'll be fine. Let me get my angle correct. Okay. Onto the green, please. Yes, that was a cool shot. Okay, we're not quite on the green. Okay, we're on the green now. Oh, so close. Oh, that was crazy. Hit it too hard, guys. Physics are really good in this game as well. It's quite realistic. That was terrible. What are you doing, PD? I'm going to do one more hole after this and then we'll call it quits on the video. Okay. Hole number nine. 
I do like the music playing. Okay, this looks a uh, pretty easy one. Is this a par three? This might be a par three. Let me check. Par four. Okay. So we need to avoid the water hazard. And I don't need to hit it too hard this time. I just need to hit it enough to get over the water hazard onto the green. Oh, that was too hard. That's miles away, look. That went off as well. I hit that too hard. It went over the edge. Okay, try again. Stay. That was a better shot. Stay. Okay, we're on the green anyway. And this is going to be a tricky putt. Now this uh, slopes upwards, then it's the, there's a little drop. And then there's a hole over there, okay. So, try and get it over this little drop. Yes, we made it over the drop. Yeah, get in. Okay, par five. Okay, let's do one more hole. Let's uh, do a round number, number 10. Can you tell I'm having fun? Okay, guys, you know me. When I want to continue to play the game, you know I'm having fun. Okay, so this is a par. This one's a par five. I could risk trying to get onto the green. There's like a bunker there in front. I'm going to try and risk it. I'm going to really whack it and try and risk this one. So this one needs a power shot to get over the holes. Okay. Give it a good whack. Oh, that hit the tree. We made it. It hit the tree, it came out of the tree, and we're in the, uh, we're in the bunker. But we, uh, we made the gap, which is good. So now I now need to chip out of the bunker onto the green. That was a good shot. Stay. This is a slope. So it's going to roll down and it'll stop around here somewhere. Yep. It's real easy to judge the uh, slopes as well in, uh, in VR. That's what I like about these types of games in VR. You get to see, because it's all in 3D, you can see the slopes of the land and everything. I need to hit the ball up this slope a little bit. There's a slope here and then it's flat and then I need to make sure I don't hit it too hard. There's another slope, the other side of the green. So the ball will keep on going if I hit it too hard. So we need to try and judge the... That was perfect. Perfect shot. Oh. I knew, as soon as I hit that, I knew that it was going to miss. You have a bit of a, an instinct. Yeah, we did it. Okay, guys, I'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been really, really cool. Lots and lots of fun. If you're into golf, you probably enjoy this game. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. So this is a par five. And we have some water hazards there. I'm going to whack the ball over there. Oh! I hit the ball by accident with my club. Bye. Ooh, what a shot. Okay, that's crafty. There's a hole here.
こう。